Hey, you cool kittens and cats. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Now, today's video is gonna be a little bit just kind of all over the place, I guess. We are gonna go outside. Victoria and I are gonna go for a little hike, snowshoe to one of our favorite lakes here in Tahoe, but I also wanted to just catch you guys up to speed on a couple little life updates that I've been meaning to talk about and just haven't really had the chance to put them in a video. So the first one and probably most important is this little guy right here. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say thanks. I really appreciate you guys watching all my videos. And I know everybody always says this, but I truly never thought I would get to 100,000 subscribers. And if any of you guys are out there starting your YouTube channels or you have small followings, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It feels like it's almost impossible, but it's not. And yeah, it's super cool. And I think that literally anybody can do it. If you just stay consistent and make cool videos, people will eventually Subscribe. So I just wanted to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Probably one of the coolest things I've ever received. And yeah, if you're not subscribed, do me a favor and click that subscribe button because it doesn't cost you anything and it really does help me out, helps brands sponsor me and all of that different stuff. And it's probably the easiest way to support my channel. So yeah, 100,000 subscribers, pretty crazy. Now there is just one more little update that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, just because I'm stoked on it, I guess. It's not really anything to do with the channel or anything like that. Just something that I'm excited about. And yeah, I thought you guys might care to know, but we are gonna have to go outside to check it out. So we're gonna get ready, get all of our hiking stuff together and then we'll talk about it. So we'll see you guys out there. It's a So, this is the new whip. It is a 2016 Nissan Frontier. No, it's not a 2020 because I don't have that kind of money. And actually, I don't think they make a 2020. I think the new one's coming out in 2021. But anyways, this is the new Adventure Mobile. And hopefully, eventually, once all the coronavirus stuff is over, my plan is to get like a little pop-up camper and solar panels and put the snowboards and bikes and everything in there so that Victoria and I have an adventure mobile where we can just drive wherever we want, whether it's a national park or the beach or anything like that, and be able to like sleep in the car and make videos and stuff. So yeah, I've always wanted a truck and I figured you guys are gonna be seeing this in a lot of my videos. So it's only right that I introduce it to you guys. But yeah, so Victoria and I, we're gonna hop in and go to the trailhead and do a little hike today. kittens and cats. Hey, you day, <laughs> Carol Baskin. <laughs> <laughs> I know all of you guys know what we're talking yeah. about. If you don't know what we're talking about, then I mean, we're not even going to tell you because you don't deserve to know. But <laughs> <laughs> so today we are hiking on the Big Meadow Trailhead, which is actually part of the Tahoe Rim Trail. It is beautiful. And we're hiking to Dardanelles Lake, which is actually one of our favorite lakes to hike to in the summer. It is yeah, so I beautiful. I think we actually did a video of Dardanelles. Yeah. Um, it was last summer, I think, we did the Viltrox 85 millimeter video, mm -hmm. but we've never actually been in the winter before, so yeah, we wanted to check it out. Yeah, we were curious to see like how it looks in the winter vibes, and 
I will say this is a already beautiful hike, but this meadow is just absolutely gorgeous when it's filled with white. Like wow. you can't tell, like there's really cool mountains back there, but this GoPro doesn't do it justice. But yeah, so we're just going for a little cruise sesh yeah. today. Good place to be, good place to avoid people. We haven't seen a single person so far. So yeah. no, no, no. I think we're doing a pretty good job. Yeah. Just trying to relax a little. Yeah. Can I be honest with you guys for a quick second? Snowshoeing, not that tight. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're getting there. We're, uh, we're at the top of like this hill now. So the way this trailhead works is it actually goes uphill to about 8,000 feet and then downhill to the lake that we're trying to get to. So we figured this would be a good place to stop, take a rest, drink some water and give you guys a little lecture. <laughs> yeah, so uh, last week, if you guys saw my video, we did a video where we basically hiked up a closed ski resort and did a little bit of snowboarding. Now, at that time, the coronavirus wasn't really like a huge thing here in Tahoe. I think we had like two cases or whatever. So we weren't too worried about it. We're like, we can go to the ski resort. We know that nobody's gonna be there and chances are pretty likely that we're not going to get hurt. But, but things escalated from there. <laughs> yeah, so things definitely escalated. We do have a lot more cases of coronavirus here now. And so, so for like another month or two, we're just gonna really take it slow. Like, I mean, we wanna still be outside. That's what we do. That's why we moved to Tahoe. Right, but yeah. we're just gonna s snowshoe, go for walks and. Yeah, unfortunately, that's just what we have to do. I know a lot of you guys are like me. You're big adventure people. You like to mountain bike and snowboard and, you know, go to these crazy places to take awesome pictures and Trust me, I want to too, but we just kind of agreed that it's important to just take it easy right now. Don't get hurt. Don't give yourself any reason to have to go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And Don't try anything new or crazy. Right. So yeah, as much as we want to bring entertaining and extreme content to you guys, for now, we're just going to take it easy, hike around, and try to make the best of a bad situation. And that concludes today's lecture. <laughs> We uh, officially are done with the trail. Now we are just following the GPS. Was that hard? Uh, I'm gonna have to really try. You could probably go a little lower than me, but just jump real hard. Oh my god. Real hard. Okay, ready? Don't worry about the okay. Okay. <laughs> my face is probably like. <laughs> We finally made it. We made it. To, whoa. It's a little soft. Oh my gosh. Uh, if you can't tell, we're standing on a frozen lake. We're standing on Dardanelles Lake right now. Yeah. And it's freaking me out. Yeah, it's kind of different actually. We always come here in the summer and swim, but I can't say I've ever walked across the lake before. So hopefully I don't fall in. Wouldn't that be crazy? Just like, yeah! Victoria would have to pull me out. That'd be nuts. But no thanks. Yeah, it's good to make it. Always a, uh, pleasant view here at Dardanelles. Actually, if you climb to the top of that, you can see Lake Tahoe, but that's not happening today. All right, 
so that was our little, uh, you know, responsibly recreating video, um, a hike to Dardanelles Lake. Now, I wanted to leave you guys with one last little uh, piece of advice or encouragement or whatever you want to call it. But basically, times are weird right now, obviously. We're like stuck at our house, nobody's working. And for me, at least, speaking from my own personal feelings and experience, I feel like there's a lot of pressure, especially like on creative people to like create something, right? Like you have all this free time, like you have no excuse to not be creating something. And like, I guess what I'm trying to say is it's okay. It's cool if you're like, you have a ton of free time and you're feeling super creative and you wanna just, you know, start your YouTube channel or whatever, now is definitely the perfect time. But also if you're not really feeling it, I think it's also a fine time to just relax. I think it's totally understandable and you should just allow yourself to not feel that pressure and just go for a hike and hang out and just be okay with doing nothing. So yeah, that's just kind of how I've been feeling. I've been feeling like I have to create, but I have nothing to make videos about and it's been stressful. So I'm all, you know, telling you guys while also telling myself. So on that note, I think I'm gonna just enjoy the rest of this day. No cameras. We got another four miles to hike out of here and I'm gonna try to just look up at the trees and enjoy it. So, yeah. Here's to taking it slow. Here's to taking it slow. Mm -hmm.